Oh, coconuts. Cool. Maybe I'll make another boat cannon. Get some more nitre. Like, I can just face tank because it heals me, right? It's really stupid, the playstyle. It's a bad way to learn the game. That's the best way to put it. The flooding started from there every single time, so maybe if I just plug it up like that, the flooding won't happen? We'll see. Damn, usually I like this jackpot. You know you used to get three of these per, uh, I guess, win? You used to get three of these things. It's insane. The dragon fruit I'm going to keep for dragon fruit, even though she can't eat them. I just like having dragon fruit because they look cool. I don't eat them either for most characters. Because you have access to bisque now, right? Bisque is much more easier to maintain. The dragon fruit also withers in the farm during summer, like most things. So it's a little bit frustrating to use the farm, even more so than before. Which reminds me, the farm is the traditional terrible item. Or a terrible, uh, I guess, structure. In, in, in Shipwrecked, it's the machete. That's the terrible item. In ROG and uh, Vanilla, it's the farm. The farm is horrendously bad. I'm going to use Packham Bagums as bait. Just put him, put him up there. He's not going to die. This way I can keep on gambling. Well, supposedly. Yeah, and, and the the mosquito suicide, as you can see. So when the mosquito suicide, uh, they explode and deal AOE damage and poison. Uh, that's why you should put Pack and Bagums close to them, so he can take the suicide damage, and you don't have to get poisoned. Win, win, win. Every time you gamble, you lose, I believe it's 5 sanity, if I recall correctly. I got greedy. Oh, I got greedy again. I'm so greedy. Let's see. I'm just going to dump this here for now. This goes in there. Wait, no, it goes in here. Mosquito sacks used to be really OP. I don't know if they're still OP. They used to heal for 30 HP, which could still be the case because I haven't used them in this game, except when I was full. Oh, fish! Fish, 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 fish. Uh, the reason why I'm not healing my sanity, and people always ask me this question when I was doing live streams. They're like, you can you can heal your sanity with the jerky, you know. It's like, yeah, I, I know. I, I know how to play the game. I know what items do. But the thing is, if you're going to lose sanity and be at like zero sanity always, okay, it is five sanity. Then what's the point of healing your sanity if you're just going to lose it all again? There is no point. There's zero point to doing that. Oh, I'm messing all this up. I'm, I'm just... I don't know what I'm doing. I think it's the inventory space. It's just really annoying to have little inventory space. I'm not sure what to do with it right now. But I want the seeds. I guess I need this now because uh, it's going to be nighttime. What else can I burn? 
I could just burn the bamboo root. I can make banana, I mean bacon and eggs. I can... I'm saving that because it's beautiful. Okay, let's just keep gambling. So what was I saying? People people always said stuff like, oh, you know you could heal your sanity, right? But yeah, there's no point in doing it. If you're just going to lose the sanity again in like two seconds, there's zero purpose to do that. And even when I'm poisoned, like when I'm poisoned, good thing I got that. When I'm poisoned, people are like, you're poisoned. I'm like, I know. I know I'm poisoned. I can, I have eyes, dude. Uh, and they're like, yeah, you should heal your poison, you know. You have anti-venom. But the thing is, if you're going to get poisoned again in the future, like if you're doing this and you're, uh, oh, that's going to spread, isn't it? If you're doing this and uh, mosquitoes are going to spawn ine inevitably because you have so many doubloons, right, to, to go through, then there's a very, very high chance that you're going to end up spawning mosquitoes again and you might get poisoned by the, the subsequent mosquitoes. So it's a good idea to have anti-venom around, but there's... Like, you don't have to use it all immediately. You could if you're dying, of course. If you're dying, then you should definitely use it. But if you're if you're gambling, you should never gamble when you're low HP anyway. Because there are so many hazards. Like, shadow creatures, terror beaks, especially. It's not, it's not a safe thing to do. Basically, the game is discouraging gambling as much as it can. Lowering your sanity, spawning shadow creatures, spawning monkeys, spawning hounds, spiders, snakes... It's uh, symbolic of what gambling does. Oh, it does block it now. It used to not block it. Oh, cool. That's really cool, actually. It used to not block it. It used to just flood over. If the flood started here and, like, flooded over, then uh, it used to not block this. But now it does. That's really cool. Like, you need to think ahead. Is it efficient for me to use this item at the moment? If I use it, then how many stats am I gaining in the long run? Chances are, if you're gambling, you're not gaining any stats. You're not netting any stats. You're actually losing stats or maintaining your stats at zero. If you're at zero sanity, uh, or if you're still poisoned, and you have, like, healing items, because you get so many healing items, right? I've only used, like, what, 20 doubloons, and I have all this, and more? So it's not like you're never going to run out of healing items, unless you get, like, super, super unlucky, which is unlikely. The likelihood of you just completely running out of everything is, is very low, if you're good to go. Like, if you're already set up like I am, you should be fine no matter what. But you should always keep Anti-Venom around, which is why I brought it. Just in case I get poisoned. Uh, just in case is the thing that you should always think about. Just in case something happens, I need X, Y, Z. That's just how you should go about surviving in this game in order to survive for a long time. Ooh, can I make turkey dinner? I always forget the recipe for it. It's like t two drumsticks, one monster meat, one morsel, I think. Oh, crap. I'm gonna have to wait for this. Unless I can single them out, which could be possible if they move aside enough. Alright. Multiple shadow creatures. If you're getting overwhelmed by shadow creatures, you can block them. I'll show you what, the, what I mean by that. Alright. Oops. So notice how the back one is uh, getting blocked by the front one. I'm, I'm just not looking. If you do this, let the first one attack you. The second one in the back actually gets blocked and can't attack you. So this is one of the techniques you can use for kiting. But if you hit it, they disappear, right? And then you just have to redo the cycle over and over again. One will block the other no matter what. So it's actually detrimental to the shadow creatures to attack in packs. Even 
terror beaks are like this. Well, it's not detrimental, I guess, because you still could die. They still will kill you if you get hit. Uh, but, you know, there are ways around it. There are mechanical ways around shadow creatures and other mobs. You can do this with other mobs, too. Like, uh, my episode on advanced combat, you can check out check that out on YouTube. There is a technique called leashing and mobbing, which is essentially keeping the mob interested and leashing it by letting it attack you. Every time it attacks you, it refreshes the leash, the leash range, and then mobbing it is controlling its movement. So basically, if you... What am I trying to say here? Uh... How's it related to blocking? Right. If you want certain enemies to attack you and others not to, and you're getting overwhelmed, let's say there's like six beefalo chasing you, the beefalo will block each other, and only the front one technically will be able to attack you. And if you keep on doing this and blocking the back line, the front one will be the only one that leashes onto you. So it'll be the only one to attack you and refresh the leash duration, whereas the other ones, because they can't attack you because they're getting blocked, they will return back to the herd and walk back and, and de-aggro. So basically that's what I mean. That's why fundamentals are so important. Take like, oh my god, again. Take one concept and then just continue to build upon it. Wait, what? Oh no, I need berries. Oops, it's berries. It's, uh, is it berries or is it just any fruit? Right, it wasn't morsel. Damn, I don't have enough drumsticks then. I can't do it anymore. Unless it's like... No, I, I think it's double... I'm pretty sure it's double drumstick. I think I need to move him a little closer. He might be close to death. Maybe not. Just be careful when they explode like that, because they will actually explode on you as well if you're close by. Alright. I still have so many. So many to gamble with. Again? That was unlucky, because one of them moved ahead. When you use force attack, it forces you to attack the closest enemy near you. Um, well, it's regular attack, I guess. When you hold down... Oh my god, again. When you hold down the attack key, you attack the closest enemy, which is why sometimes when I hold down the attack key against spiders, uh, what ends up happening is I like change targets and then they don't actually die properly. So when that happens, the reason for it is because... Uh, one of the spiders moved closer to you, or one of the enemies in general moved closer to you, and you're attacking that one now instead. Mm, gold is okay. I don't, I don't like the club though. Oh, actually, that reminds me too. It's, it's like always like troll people on stream that trigger me. That reminds me of stupid things. People are like, oh, you're so lucky. You got a jackpot. But, like, clearly you can see that the jackpot doesn't necessarily mean something amazing. Especially based on the character you're playing. So, like, there's no reason... I mean, dual sight is nice, but there's so many other options in this game. You don't really need it. So it's not really... I wouldn't consider it really a jackpot. It's just a decent item, an alternative item that you can use. Like, if I got a spear, I would feel the exact same way about it. Man, you're kidding me. It's gonna fall asleep eventually, I think. I hope. Please, just fall asleep and get out of here. Should I have done that? I don't know. No, I probably shouldn't have done that. 
What does that even make? I don't even know. I don't even care right now. I need this thing dead before I continue. It's too annoying. Alright, there we go. 